Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we are going to take a look at another Takara Tomy set. As you can see, this is a three pack, and actually you may not be able to see that because the glare coming off of that plastic is just unreasonable right now. I'm really having a hard time seeing the figures through the screen of the camera just with that plastic being so bright and shiny. So we'll try to get these guys out of the package as quick as possible. But you can see here on the outside you have an image of the Triceratops which is definitely included inside, and a few trees right there. Once we come to the side here, you'll have a better idea of who is included. You can see the head of a Spinosaurus and a Brachiosaurus there. And then when we come to the back, you've got kind of an advertisement for quite a few of the other Takaratomi figures, which at this point we have reviewed every single one of the figures you see there on the channel. And then over here we just have some more trees. So let's go ahead and break these guys out of their box and see exactly how good these figures are. So we have them out now and as far as what is included we have some little rocks here, some interesting rocks. We also have some trees, so we've got pretty much the trees that we saw on the box actually. And then we have a nest, and we have a nest that goes with a specific dinosaur, and I believe that dinosaur would be this very nice looking Triceratops that we did see on the box art of the set. And then we also have a Brachiosaurus, whose neck looks totally crazy right now. And then we also have a Spinosaurus as well. So... As you can see, three figures with a few little extras included. As far as these Takara Tomy figures go, it's really quite exciting to be able to get three figures here all at once. Similar to, I recently purchased a lot of figures on eBay for like 8 or $9. I forget exactly how much it was, but it included the Tyrannosaurus, the Velociraptor, and the Pteranodon, even though I already had the Pteranodon. But now I have the Brachiosaurus, the Triceratops, and the Spinosaurus, and I didn't have any of these previously. And I actually found these guys on Amazon, and it was a really good deal. And I will include a link in the description if you guys would like to take advantage of the deal as well. But it was $12.99 for this entire set, so all three Takara Tomy figures for $13, I thought was a really good deal. But at first glance, all three of these figures look really quite cool, so let's go ahead and get a closer look at them right now. So we will start with the Triceratops, and I will say the Triceratops actually has a very nice look. This is the second Ceratopsian I have now from the Takara Tomy figures, as I do also have the Jurassic World Nesuto Ceratops, but this one looks really good as far as the detailing of the head. Look at how much beautiful sculpt and detail is included as far as the scale work of not just the head here, but all the way up here onto the frill. That looks really, really nice, and you have the kind of bumpy spikes that run along the frill are painted with a nice grayish color. There's not too much coloration or paintwork included in this, but you can see kind of like a line of a almost like a brown or a gray that runs through the body there. And then otherwise, it's like a yellowish brown for the body color mostly. You can also see a little bit of light differences within the paint up here on the head and up into the frill. So the coloration is very subtle and not too noticeable, but it's really quite nice as far as kind of giving it a Bit of a realistic look with skin tone. The eyes are painted quite nicely, given a nice black pupil. They do quite nicely shine, so they have a bit of a realistic eye shine to them. And they're very small, so it's impressive how nicely done the eyes are. You can see the beak here is painted with a gray and also sports some really nice sculpt and detail as far as like cracks and crevices within the beak. Very impressive stuff, even up here on the horns. Look at the detail that's actually sculpted into the horns here on the Triceratops, really, really impressive overall. You can see the inside of the mouth is painted in there. It's just, you can't get in there very well to see it, but it is actually painted. So the head sculpt in general, I think, is really quite nicely done and quite impressive as far as the detailing goes. Once we come back here into the body, the sculpt work does not cease in any way, shape, or form. It appears as though we have beautiful detailing. Oh, wow, look at the back of the frill. That looks really nice. The spinal column is nicely sculpted out up here, and the skin texture overall on this Triceratops is really quite gorgeous. You have nice creasing going on there, kind of giving you a sense of the movement of where the front leg is, as well as kind of some skin folding right there in the joint of the elbow. You have the very nicely painted nails here. A little tiny bit of sloppiness right there on the front, which is impressive for Takara Tomy because they don't often have any type of sloppiness as far as their paint goes. More nice creasing kind of right there as we get up here into the hip bone. The hip bone is slightly present. You can also take note of some really nice muscle tone as you move down the leg as well as just in general like the bone structure 
of that rear leg looks really good and is beautifully portrayed throughout the sculpt of the Triceratops. You come down into the foot. Once again, you have a tiny little bit of sloppiness there to the nail paint with, I think, like the third toe over. You can see it there, and actually the second toe a little bit too. But for the most part, I think it looks pretty good, and those nails are very small, so it's not out of my realm of understanding as to why that would be a little bit sloppy. Really nice detailing here on the underside as well. Lots of kind of skin creasing and skin folding going on there. Nice detailing here on the tail as we move out the length of the tail as well. So very beautiful overall. This is a little bit different than most of the Takara Tomy figures because you usually have like articulation in the legs and you don't get that with the Ceratopsians. And you can see that these legs are totally stuck in place and given a very nice position with the Triceratops sort of walking along. And I actually do like that. I think it looks really nice. The pose that they've put the Triceratops in looks very nice and natural. The skin detail on this side also looks really good, but it doesn't look too much different from what we saw on the previous side. If we turn the neck over here, you can get an idea here of what the actual sculpting of the neck looks like. You can see lots of creasing there in the neck as well. And as usual, we have that ball joint to move the neck around. So yeah, really, really beautiful looking Triceratops. I'm definitely quite impressed with the Triceratops from this set. And then we'll bring up the Brachiosaurus. So the head sculpt looks nice. You've got the nostrils up there on the snout of our Brachiosaurus. And overall, I think it's very appealing looking. Almost a kind of a Jurassic Park type of a look to it, but at the same time, not really so much. The head is really small, so you can see how nicely painted the eyes are. That's very impressive as far as the painting of the eyes, how good of a job they've done there. And you can also see that here on this side. Very, very nicely done, and they are glossed. You can also see the teeth inside the mouth as well as the actual coloration inside the mouth painted just to make sure it looks nice and beautiful overall I think that they have done a very good job on the head sculpt there isn't as much detail I will say on the head sculpt of this Brachiosaurus as you see on a lot of the Takara Tomy figures but I still think it looks quite nice and then as we start to move down the neck you could see lots of really nice detailing and kind of creasing and cracks and crevices all throughout the skin texture of the neck and you can also see these kind of ball joints here which is one of the trademarks of the Takara Tomy figures, which you usually only find in the tails, which you also do have on this one, you have the tail articulation, but with this one having a very nice long neck like you would expect on a sauropod, you also have the ball joints in the neck as well, just to make sure you can articulate your figure however you would like. Once you get down here into the body, again, the skin texture looks really quite nice overall. It's nothing super crazy, nothing that I would say is just jaw-droppingly gorgeous as far as the detailing goes. But I definitely think it looks quite nice and you've got quite a bit of paint variation with different browns, darker browns and stuff kind of elaborating certain areas, giving it, again, a pretty realistic look as far as skin tone goes. Very nice detailing of the bone structure there with the shoulder blade moving the whole way down the leg. You also have a really nice foot sculpt down here. Beautiful wrists and everything. Very nicely painted nail here on the side of both of these front feet. You have also some skin kind of pulling off of the body and that's going to probably show up on both sides. Oh, not so much right here because this leg is actually pushing into the body. So you can see the skin kind of bunching up right here as this leg is lifting up and the Brachiosaurus is taking a walk, but you can still sort of see the skin stretching there and over here on this side as well on both legs. So they did do a very good job as far as kind of paying attention to the way the skin would be reacting to the movement of the body. You also have the hip bone back here Really nice detailing, kind of a sense of the muscle tone as you move down the rear leg as well as the kneecap being present. Very nicely done foot sculpt here on the back. Beautifully painted nails that are glossed so they shine quite realistically. Again, some more movement kind of shown with the kind of skin wrinkling and bunching up as we move out that nice small Brachiosaurus tail. The skin texture looks good there as well. Nice detailing here on the underside. Actually, I guess the tail's upside down. Nice detailing here on the underside as well. So very cool looking Brachiosaurus. This is the first Takara Tomy sauropod that I have. So I was really excited to take a look at this one specifically. We'll get a look at the articulation on that one then because it really looks like it's pretty much articulated all over. And then we have the Spinosaurus. And the Spinosaurus, the jaw is really stiff right there for a second. But the Spinosaurus is very clearly heavily inspired by the Jurassic Park Spinosaurus. You can just see it all over the place as far as this sculpt goes. It really looks good as far as a Jurassic Park style Spinosaurus goes. I'm impressed that once they started to release some of the Jurassic World figures that even though the Spino didn't appear in the film, I'm surprised they didn't capitalize on already having this sculpt and kind of give it a Jurassic Park 3 style paint job and re-release it. Maybe they will at some point. 
But even still, this paint job itself isn't too far off, at least like the primary color has kind of a grayish look to it, and that's similar to what you see on the Spinosaurus in the film, which is more like a gray and a brown mixed together. But you can see that the sculpt and detail up here on the head looks really nice. They actually have a green eye, just like the Spino in Jurassic Park 3, and kind of that slit style appearance to the pupil. You also have the articulated jaw, nicely painted out tongue in there. The upper side also kind of... Looks like it might sport some detail. Nah, not really. It's pretty smooth, actually, but it looks decent. The teeth are painted pretty well. They're a little sloppy. They're just, I think the paint might be a little too thick in certain spots. The upper jaw actually looks quite nice. It's just that the lower jaw, oh, over here the upper jaw looks a little iffy, but the lower jaw looks like it's a little too thick as far as the paint goes, but it's not anything terrible. The head sculpt overall, I think, looks quite nice. And then once you start to get back here into the neck, you can see like a black coloration pick up there on the top of the head. And then that starts to lead down and stays up here on the upper part of the animal for the most part up on the sail and everything. You have some nice detailing there in the neck. Lots of creasing in the skin and everything. Kind of the shoulder blade protruding from the skin. Very nicely sculpted out arms as we move down here into the hands. The nails are painted quite nicely. You have a scoot-like appearance down the fingers. The nails are also glossed, similar to every other figure that we've seen in this set so far. Beautiful skin texture in the stomach, once again. The Spinosaurus does have a little bit of girth in the stomach, so he appears to be well-fed. Not any type of a starving dinosaur, which is nice to see. Beautiful sculpt and detail up there in this sail area as well. And then as we move down here, you can see some nice muscle tone, as well as the knee present there in the front of the leg. Beautifully sculpted out feet with a scoot-like appearance down the toes again, just like we saw in the hands. Nicely painted nails with a gloss coat. Very nice overall as far as the appearance goes with the way that the nail paint is applied. In no way does it look sloppy at all. And then we come back up here into the tail. You also have some creasing here, kind of showing some of the movement of the skin. And if we pull these legs back, you can get a better sense of what the detailing right here looks like, actually. And the legs and everything do move really smoothly. Once you first try to pull them back, they're a little stiff because they haven't been moved or anything yet. Especially this one's not working too good. But for the most part, once you get them going, you can see that the legs really work smoothly. I just have to work on that one a little more. And then we lead out the length of the tail. Again, the tail looks really good. You can see the ball joints as per usual with the Takara Tomy figures, but the sculpt work looks nice. And this figure is pretty much in a totally neutral position almost, except for the arms are in a little bit of a different position, but otherwise you're not really going to see any real difference on this side that you didn't already see on the previous side. You have some nice osteoderms and kind of almost like that armored type of an appearance up there on the top of the Spinosaurus. He also kind of looks very similar to the Papo Spinosaurus, especially as far as the sculpt goes, but even the color itself. But again, really cool looking Spinosaurus figure. Definitely a really nice set overall. And as far as the extras go, we do have this little nest which sports some really nice eggs in there. Some are hatched, some are not. Beautiful detailing as far as the actual earthy area around the nest. And then you also have a tree, which is nothing amazing or flashy, but you also have some rocks there down at the base of the tree. Nicely painted leaves and everything. This is nothing over the top, just a pretty cool little extra. And then you also have this little rocky area just to give yourself a little bit more of a terrain to when you are playing with the figures or displaying them or whatever you in fact choose to do but really really cool figures for sure now as far as articulation goes on our figures we do have the articulation of the neck right here and being on a ball joint you can turn that any which way you would like also right here and right here so you can move our brachiosaurus all over the place to display maybe eating some of the vegetation or you can have him come up like this and then bend down to eat some vegetation so you have lots of options as far as posability and displayability with the brachiosaurus you don't have articulation in the legs but you do also have articulation here in the tail which is nice to see in two different spots as far as the triceratops goes he absolutely sports the least amount of articulation because you only have the head which is on a swivel so you can totally turn it around lift it up lift it down left, right, that sort of deal. So you've got lots of movement to be had as far as the head area and neck area of the Triceratops, but that's it. You have no articulation in the legs or the tail. And then with the Spinosaurus, it's pretty much your standard theropod articulation. You have the articulated jaw, the legs, and then the tail in two separate spots. 
As far as a size goes, for a length on our Spinosaurus, you were looking at about, now he fell over because I hit him with the tape measure, about six and a quarter inches, almost actually about six and a half inches. It's getting there. It's pretty close, but not exactly. Or about 16 centimeters, somewhere in that range. And then for a height, the highest point is actually probably going to be the sail, about three inches or seven and a half centimeters for the head just a little under three inches, or actually well, about seven and a half centimeters right there on the dot now for the head. As far as the Triceratops goes, for a length you are looking at about a little over five inches or 13 centimeters, and for a height about two and three quarter inches or seven centimeters again. And then for the Brachiosaurus, you've got pretty significant length on this guy due to him being so tall, it's a little hard for you to see, but it's at about eight and a quarter inches or 21 centimeters and then for a height if we stand them up nice and tall about just under five inches or 12 and a half centimeters for a size comparison there is mr papo t-rex the attack pack colovasaurus and robert muldoon next to our takara tomi figures and once again showing you that they are quite small as far as dinosaur figures go the takara tomi figures always stay in this very similar size range and they are always much smaller than most, but honestly, I think they are a really beautiful size, and it's definitely a line of figures you can continuously collect and not take up too much room in your collection while providing very nice, very detailed dinosaur figures for your collection. So that is one really cool aspect about them, is the fact that they're not too large or anything. So this very cool Takara Tomy set is quite nice overall. The Spinosaurus is beautifully done. It's not exactly accurate, especially by today's standards. It has transformed quite significantly since when this type of a look of a Spinosaurus was popular, but it is a really cool rendition of a Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaurus in a very small size. I actually wouldn't mind getting one and repainting it, so I may be on the lookout for another one of those Spinosaurus figures at some point just to kind of give it a Jurassic Park 3 style paint job because it really does nicely resemble that version of the Spinosaurus as well as actually looking quite similar to the Papo Spinosaurus with the coloration of the figure overall. The Triceratops as well is quite beautiful. A very nice Ceratopsy in which you don't have too many of included in the Takara Tomy line So I was quite psyched to see the Triceratops included in this set and overall I feel like it is a very nice looking Triceratops very nicely detailed quite nicely painted the Takara Tomy figures never have just a ton of paint Giving them super realistic paint jobs But the paint that is included is like a little bit of a basic rundown of what the dinosaur could look like and I think they did a good job on the paint and the application of the paint as well especially when it comes to areas like the nails and kind of making sure that even the little spikes that run around the frill and everything are all painted quite nicely very nicely done as far as that triceratops goes and then we have the brachiosaurus which I am really psyched to have now in my collection because like I had stated I don't have any sauropods from the Takara Tomy line and I love sauropods they actually have I know for sure they have a Super Saurus out currently, which I am dying to get a hold of, but I think they may have had one other sauropod at some point too that I missed and didn't get a hold of, so maybe I'll have to get a hold of those in the very near future, hopefully, if they're not too hard to find, but I think the Brachiosaurus is quite nice. Overall, it has a very majestic appearance to it and is a very nice rendition of the Brachiosaurus. I think the sculpt and detail on the Brachiosaurus, I will say, is a little bit lacking as opposed to some of the other figures, like if you just look at it next to the Triceratops, the detail between the two is not really the same. The Brachiosaurus isn't as highly detailed, I think, as the other two. However, I will say that it still looks really quite nice, and once you get close and take in the detailing that is included, it's quite beautiful, actually. So I really am impressed with all three of these figures, and I love the fact that in the set they've included a nest for the Triceratops, which is a very nice dose of realism, as well as that very cool tree back there, and then that little rocky area as well. So lots included in this set, and again, at $12.99, I felt like it was a steal of a deal for these figures. So again, check the description. I will link you to the listing where I purchased mine on Amazon. If you are interested, make sure you pick it up. It's definitely worth a buy, and make sure you also like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.